Are you ready? For what? Gander Mountain. Tomorrow morning's opening morning. You don't have shells. You don't have a gun case. And you still need your license, don't you? Yeah. Well, let's go. I'll go later once my show's done. No, forget the show. Let's go now. There was a time when waterfowl were free to travel across the migratory flyways from state to state, Canada through the United States. There was a time when waterfowl were safe. Then came gander control. Hi, I'm Joe Evans. And I'm Dan Evans. And, and this, this is Gander, Gander Control TV. TV. Our goal is to travel along the migratory flyways. Giving you a fun and informative inside look at waterfowl hunting. Oh, get him on Joe. The decoys, the shells, and they've got That's everything. Like This. You don't need that. Come on, Joe. Let's go. Come on. Shells and a gun case. Shells and a gun case. Let's go. All right, all right. Calm down. Ooh, 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 right here. Joe, told you I was gonna need a new blind bag, right? What would you need that for? It's way too big. Put all my stuff in. You know, shells, calls, food. You got a snack in your hut, right? Yeah, you're cool. Oh, what's your gun pieces? Oh, finally, something you need. Just what I need. Uh, Perfect. wrong with that, right? That's perfect. Why, why are you still wearing those gloves? I'm gonna buy them. I understand that, but you don't need to wear them now. Let's just finish finding my stuff. I like wearing them. What else do we need? Ooh, aha! You already have a gun case right here. Yeah, I need a hard gun case. You don't need a hard gun case. You have one gun. Put one of them back. Well, what if I need the hard one too? Do we want to come all the way back here? All right. Oh, another thing we need. We don't need another dog pill you bought for this year. Hey, Magnum likes to be comfy. He retrieves all the birds. The least we can do is let him be comfy. All right, you can get the dog pillow. Thank you. But you can take off the glove. I'm not taking off the gloves. Let's put the dog pillow away. I'm taking off the gloves. Alright, here we go. Shells, that's all you need. Let's go. Uh, box? No. I'm getting a case. Of course. Why would yeah. you get a case? Would you grab one more while you're over there? No, let's go. Alright, uh, Joe, I'll meet you up front. I gotta go, uh, check one more thing. Alright, well, hurry up. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Coming up on this week's episode of Gander Control TV, the crew heads out to Northern Illinois for opening day. Magnum finds himself in a stinky situation, but not before I find myself in a sticky situation. Coming up on Gander Control TV.
Well, we got to the field this morning about an hour before shooting time. We set our decoys up. We, we were hunting over about 150 full body decoys. We had a pretty good spread. We shot them up in a U, U pattern. It was one of the chillier mornings of the year. So as the morning got on, we seen what the birds were doing and we spread them out a little bit and they seemed to come right in the hole. We had a good wind for them and they were falling right in the hole. Kill that one, Ron. Kill that one. So at dinner, all the guys of Gander Control decided to make a little bit of a wager. And uh, what the wager was is that the first guy to kill a band this year, everybody in the crew has to buy that member a box of shells. And of course, Joe being the cocky guy he is, he says, oh, well, let's head back to Gander Mountain right now. He might as well buy me the shells now because he says he's going to shoot a band in the morning. Who does this guy think he is? <laughs> So I had a call between my arm and my gun. I don't believe the two going up to me. Shut up! Shut up! Joe! I swear on my life! Yes! I swear on my life! <laughs> you, if you're lying to me. I swear on everything! <laughs> I swear on everything! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! Being the cocky brother that he's always been, actually called it. He said he was going to shoot a band opening morning, and then he did. What are the chances of that? It's been raining for about the past week leading up to this hunt and uh, we were worried that the field was going to be a little bit too muddy to drive the trucks in and we were going to have to walk all the decoys out. So we pulled up to the field and uh, checked the mud to see if it was too bad to drive the trucks in. We were alright, it was dry enough to drive the trucks on it. So we drove in, got all the decoys set. My luck, I get stuck on the way out. Joe got his truck stuck a little bit with the trailer, so uh, All right. we're gonna have to leave it here for. Uh, All right, I don't know, but we're leaving All it right, here. Still to come on Gander Control TV, Magnum finds himself in a stinky situation, but not before I find myself in a sticky situation. Coming up on Gander Control TV. Bling, bling, bling. 
slinging while the girls are drinking. Long necks down, and I wouldn't trade old Leroy on my Chevrolet for your Escalade or your Freak Parade. I'm the only John Wayne left in this town. When I saddle up my horse and I ride into the city, I make a lot of noise cause the girls, they are so pretty. Riding up in that Broadway. Hey, you know what? Here's the deal. This whole operation is based around me and my uh, amazing hunting skills. They couldn't do this thing without me. I mean, it's kind of like the whole uh, prima donna thing. I don't need to set up decoys. They can do that. Let Joe do it. I show up. Pull a trigger a couple times. Between me and you, I shot his birds for him today. It's my leg band. I'll let him have it. My foot's stuck again. Hey, what are you doing? Is anybody has like a private. <laughs> <laughs> you think because you get a band, you missed a big shot. I don't think I know. We'll see what we'll see what time I get up tomorrow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, lady, tomorrow. <laughs> you, I'm not calling. Hey, you know what? Go. This actually works out pretty well though. I get about an hour more sleep than everybody else. Yeah. I roll in the field, decoys are already set, I come in, oh, kill my hour, birds. Tomorrow you're going to have an hour and a half more sleep, because then you're not going to get to kill anything. No, you're not going to get a wake-up call. I didn't get one today anyway. Yes, well, you did. Sure. Yeah, you did. Well, yeah, but it, we called. it was late. It was a late call. Because Nick didn't call me. It's all well, my fault. Hey, last night did you say you were going to call me? I don't remember. All right then, so now it's your fault. It's not my fault that you didn't wake up. Yes, he did. It's not my fault you can't. No, I'm not kidding around here. You because need some help. No. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine. Still to come on Gander Control TV, Magnum finds himself in a bit of a stinky situation. Also, some useful field tips from a local veterinarian. Coming up next on Gander Control TV. It was about five minutes before shooting time this morning and the camera crew they were still getting all the stuff out of the bags and getting everything set up to go and I looked to my right and uh, just so happens a skunk wanders his way into our decoy spread. I didn't really know what to do. I didn't want to shoot at it because I didn't want it to spray. My first instinct was hey I got a gun I'll get rid of this thing. So I decided to kind of just shoot away a little bit and luckily it ran away and didn't spray at all. We had some early ducks come in and work us and uh, we shot and I went to send the dog on the duck and he was preoccupied by a skunk that was about 300 yards away and when I sent him on the duck instead of going straight he goes directly backwards so the dog takes off running and this dog is running top speed after this skunk so I'm yelling and blowing my whistle for him you know Magnum get over here no and the dog's on a beeline for this skunk I'm trying to get him to come back and I'm trying to find my transmitter for his collar well, of course, my brother laying on the electric collar remote, so that doesn't do him a lot of good. He finds the skunk, gets to the skunk, and gets sprayed. Just my luck. So, we load the dog up and head to the vet. And the veterinarian was actually kind enough to give us a couple tips and pointers on some things you can do if you're in a situation where you can't make it to a vet. You can uh, get tomato juice and put on them. Okay. You can, uh, there's a mixture of Dawn soap and uh, baking soda. Okay. You can put that on them. The, the biggest problem is do their eyes get hit with this because it really is, uh, it's, it's very caustic. Right. Okay. And you want to make sure that it looks like his eyes look fine, but if they're, if they're squinting a lot, then that means that you've had uh, an exposure there. You need to really rinse that out liberally. You know, okay. if you're out in the field, like some type of water, something like that, or if you take, I don't know, some, some, some hunters have like a, like a little emergency pack, yeah. And if you have an eye flush in there, that's good. Okay, there you go. Huh? I know. 
Well, uh, if things don't work out with getting Magnum cleaned up, we can always look into getting another hunting dog. So we decided to take Magnum out and work him in the water. We threw a couple bumpers for him for him to retrieve. He did a really good job. Uh, one of the main things a lot of people have to remember is in season and out of season, you really need to keep working with your dogs. You can't just in the summertime leave him in the kennel and not throw bumpers for him. He's going to be rusty when it comes season. You can't get him back from the trainer and think that he's all set to go. You still have to work with him yourself.